today we've got a pretty quick video. We're gonna look at a problem from the 2020 MIT Integration B qualifier. So this qualifier doesn't have the same time constraint or race feel as the actual event, but still it's got some nice integrals in it. So what do we have? We have the integral from zero to infinity of x to the fifth e to the negative x to the fourth dx. And really there are two ways to go about this. We could do some sort of substitution to get this to the point where we have e to just a plain old variable like minus t or minus u or something like that. And then maybe do integration by parts with what's left over. But if you play around with that, that won't work in this case because your substitution would be like t equals x to the fourth. If you take the derivative there, you'll get dt has an x cubed term in it. Notice that eats up some of these, but not all of these. And the most important thing is that you'll have a non-integral power on what's left over, you know, once you put it into the t variable. So instead of that, we'd like to think to a famous integral that is a exponential, has a non-elementary um, antiderivative, but it has a nice closed form, and that is the following integral. We have the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus x squared dx is the square root of pi over 2. There are several ways to derive this. I've actually done a bunch of them on my channel if you'd like to check it out. So if we want to transform our given integral into this form, then we want to look at this stuff in the exponent, this x to the fourth, and view it as something squared. So let's do that. So let's set x to the fourth equal to t squared. But let's notice that that means that t is equal to x squared. And furthermore, this substitution right here will give us an e to the minus t squared here, which will hopefully be nice. Now let's calculate our dt component. Our dt component is equal to 2x dx. But now we can take this x to the fifth and rewrite it as x times x to the fourth. And that's actually really good news because we can take one of these x's and fuse it with the dx and replace it with dt. And we'll take the other x, this x to the fourth, and rewrite it as t squared. But in order to make that process a little bit more obvious, let's take this dt equation and rewrite it as x dx equals one half dt. Okay. Now let's take our original integral and rewrite it as follows. So we have the integral from zero to infinity, and then we'll have x to the fourth, e to the minus x to the fourth, and then we'll have x dx. And now we can make all of these replacements. Hey everyone, before we finish this video, I'd like to take a moment to thank our patrons. The channel is possible because of their generous support. We'd like to turn off the ads on my second channel, Math Major, but to do so, we need to reach our goal of $1,000 per month on the Patreon. This will allow more people to access a higher quality experience and spread ad-free math education. So if you can chip in even a couple of bucks to help us reach our goal, go to patreon.com slash michaelpenmath or click the link in the description. If you can contribute $10 or more, you'll have your name in the credits at the end of each video. And if you can't contribute money, then please share and like this video. It really does help. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, but you've made it this far, you should go click the subscribe button. Okay, back to the video. So this x dx is 1 half dt. And then next up, this x to the fourth here is t squared. And this x to the fourth here is also t squared. Let's also notice that the bounds of integration in our setup don't change. That's because if x is equal to zero, t is equal to zero, and as x approaches infinity, t also approaches infinity. So that's good news. That'll allow us to rewrite this as one half, and then we'll have the integral from zero up to infinity of 
t squared times e to the minus t squared dt. Now we have to figure out how to evaluate that leftover bit. But we can do that with integration by parts. So let's split that t squared into t times t. So we can write this as one half, and then we'll have the integral from zero up to infinity of t times t e to the minus t squared dt. Then, like I said, we'll use integration by parts. So let's take u and set it equal to t. So that tells us that du is equal to dt. And then next, we'll let dv gobble up everything else. So dv will be equal to t e to the minus t squared. So it's a little bit more complicated of a choice for our differential part, but it works in this case. So now we can easily take the antiderivative of this and we'll get minus one half e to the minus t squared. Okay, now we can use our standard integration by parts formula. Let's recall what that is. We have the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So that means we can write this thing as, well, we have this one half out front, and then we'll have u times v, that will be minus t over two, e to the minus t squared over two, evaluated from zero to infinity, whereby evaluated at infinity, I really mean we're taking the limit as t goes to infinity, and then minus the integral of v du, but that's attached to a minus sign, and we also have a half, so we have plus a half, the integral from zero up to infinity of e to the minus t squared dt. So we're left with something like this. Now we'll evaluate this at zero. Notice that we get zero. We let t tend towards infinity and we'll see that we also get zero. That's because this exponential decay term will dominate the polynomial t term. That means we're left with one half times one half times this fact over here, which in the setting of this integration B qualifier, we don't really have to show that. So we have one half times one half times the square root of pi over two. In other words, the square root of pi over eight. Great. So like I said earlier, I've derived this integral several times on the channel before using a number of different techniques. There should be a couple of videos on the screen right now if you'd like to check some of those out. And that's a good place to stop.